Warning, the following review may possibly contain spoilers. Now, only possibly, because there might not be any spoilers for all I know, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, if you haven't seen this movie yet, I recommend watching the movie first and then watching this review, just in case. But if you have seen the movie, or you don't care about being spoiled, then continue watching. Thank you. Also, this video is sponsored by Water. It's not. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages, my name is Mike and welcome to Pizza Mon Mario and it is time for my review of the Super Mario Brothers movie. And I'm not going to make this intro too long because we just spent a minute with the spoiler warning in the beginning and the intro of the channel so we're going to watch the chase so let's not waste any more time and I'll take a seat, get comfortable, grab your snacks and your beverages and let's get started. First thing I will discuss is the plot of the film. Now the plot is on the simple side of things, but I think that was a good move because Mario has never been known for having these complex like Dragon Ball type of stories, you know? They're usually more simple and straightforward. So I think having a more simple plot works for a Mario adaptation, especially because you're gonna be seeing like a lot of people in the newer and older generation watching this film. So you wanna appeal to both demographics without like insulting their intelligence. I think the plot of this film does that really well. What I also liked about this plot is how it gave Mario and Luigi a backstory. We got to see more of their brotherly dynamic. This was really cool because we never got to see like a real development story between the Mario brothers before, like in the game. So it was kind of a blessing to see like an actual like backstory and introduction of who these characters are, how they came to be the characters we know them as today. Now speaking of characters, let's talk about them real quick, so we get back into Mario's character arc, like I mentioned before. They gave him this underdog-like storyline, where he tries to prove himself that he can be successful and get the approval of others in Brooklyn as a hero, and not drag his brother down with him in his own failure. And once he has warped to the Mushroom Kingdom, with the help of Peach, who we'll also get to later, he managed to prove that he can be a hero. He went through actual character development, which like I said before, we've never seen this side of the Mario universe before, let alone with Mario himself, it was something that I really appreciated. As for the rest of the characters, Luigi, he's still that timid character that we know him as, but it's going back to the brotherly dynamic thing from before, I really like how he cares for his brother and like he believes in him when no one else does. In general, both brothers show like how much they really care for each other. They always worry about each other, always have each other's backs. They say, as long as we're together, everything's gonna be all right. It was really heartwarming to see how close the relationship the brothers have with each other throughout this film. You know, people always give Mario a hard time for being a bad brother because of that flipping foot stomp in Mario Power Tennis, but Mario Power Tennis is not canon to the Mario series. Spin-off games are not canon, never been canon, never gonna be canon. Sure, maybe this movie isn't really canon either, but it's more closer to the original Mario games than the spin-off games. At least the sports, cart, and party ones. Anyway, going back to the characters, let's talk about Peach. As you may know, they made Peach like a girl boss-like character, which I know some people are mixed on, but I personally like that they made her a girl boss character. It allowed the movie to avoid the typical cliches of Mario, like, Oh, the princess has been captured, Mario. We gotta rescue her. You know? Let's try to do something different with Peach in this movie. I mean, to be fair, it's not too different. Like, it's the first time I ever saw Peach fend for herself. There was also Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario 3D World. And Peach even had her own game, Super Princess Peach. Which is very underrated, by the way. Nintendo, please uh, make a sequel to that. And I don't think Peach took anything away from Mario as the hero of the film. I still say Mario is the hero of the film. If anything, Peach served as like Mario's coach. But she's been in the Mushroom Kingdom all her life, so she knows like the back of her hand. 
it's only natural that you'd want to teach Mario what it's like in the Mushroom Kingdom, or train him to be able to fight Bowser. You'd also be able to stand on their own two feet if necessary, you know, like a true ruler of the kingdom would do. And Toad, he served as a nice side character. He had some funny moments. It's nice how he was uh, brave to protect the princess at all times. And Donkey Kong, he had his time to shine too. He had somewhat of a character arc in the movie. Kind of a small one, kind of similar to Mario's, but he had his moments as well. And Bowser was a pretty cool villain. He had this little gentle side to himself in the movie. I'm not going to go too much into detail about that. So I don't want to spoil too much of the movie. Even though I said before, you probably should watch the movie before watching the review, but whatever. I guess it didn't really need to be part of his character. They probably could have just kept him as a, the evil, dominant villain that he is. But it was still interesting regardless. He had his own musical number. It's pretty interesting at that. You know, I did like the characters in this movie, how they all worked off one another. But now I'm going to get into the big thing about this movie that I want to talk about. And that's the fan service. Because there was a lot of that in this movie. There were Easter eggs and references littered all over this film. Like, it was like taking like a like a big bag of like bird feed, right? Opening it up and like just pouring it like everywhere across your house. That's how much the fan service was in this movie. You know, some people might say that there was too much fan service that made it seem like, oh, it was kind of lazy to do all these references and like took away from the plot of the movie, made it like slow pace and all that. Which, yeah, I guess that's a fair argument, but I feel like the fan service was actually done really well in the movie. Like, I think it was fan service done right. Like, compare this to something like the fan service in the Emoji movie, where it had a lot, a lot of references to like apps and stuff like that. I feel like references in that movie didn't really do anything like a part of the plot. It seemed like they were just there for the sake of being there, for product placement, advertising like Candy Crush and Just Dance and all that stuff, and just phones in general. But here, I think all the references had a reason to be there and didn't feel like they were just advertising other Mario games, just in my personal opinion. I can understand why some people might say, like, from a movie's perspective, that like, all these references may not have been necessary. But I also enjoyed them all. I liked how they took all this stuff from um, the Mario games, put it all into one movie, like the power-ups, the level designs, and remixes of Mario songs, which were all really good in my opinion. And overall, I thought this was a pretty good movie. Great, in fact. That was a fun adventure. A nice art for Mario. Visuals were amazing. And the voice acting, I think the voice acting was really good. Like, I think you get used to it after a while. Even Chris Pratt's Mario. Yeah, I don't mind the voice acting in this movie. Especially Charlie Day as Luigi and Jack Black as Bowser. Those two were excellent. Had some pretty funny jokes in there that didn't cater to the lowest common denominator of the most Illumination films. Some fun references. I thought it was a pretty good adaptation overall. I thought the Mario fan like myself satisfied when I walked out of theaters. My mom really liked it too. I saw it with her because she really wanted to see it. And she really liked it. And yeah, I can see why. I thought I paid a nice homage to the Mario franchise in the same ways that Detective Pikachu and the Sonic films did. With that being said, I give the Super Mario Bros. movie a 9 out of 10. I'm giving it a 9 here, but in my head, I'm giving it a 10. Because I like it that much. Yeah, I think it did live up to the hype, and it was worth the wait after all this time. Could it be Illumination's best film yet? It's possible. Could it win a movie of the year? I don't know. We still have Spider-Man or Spider-Verse. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> we still have Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse to get to, so... I don't know. But yeah. While I'm sure there were some issues with the movie, like maybe they didn't need so much fan service, probably could have had time for more character development from other characters besides Mario. Maybe Bowser didn't need to have like a gentle side to himself. Probably seen more scenes with Luigi and Mario together. Maybe it could have been a little bit longer than 92 minutes. But what we got was what I wanted from a Mario film. I'm satisfied with the outcome. And yeah. Now there's one more thing I want to mention about the movie. And again, I'm going to spoiler territory. There's two post credit scenes after the film. You have like a cartoony credit scene, you know, you see in like a lot of movies. And there's a post credit scene after that. And then at the other credits, the one that just looks like this, there's another post credit scene. So if you're gonna see this movie, gotta make sure you see those before you leave the theaters. And make sure you just stay to the end of the second credit scene. And you'll see the post credit scene. Yeah, I figured I'd mention that. And now, question of the video. 
What did you think of the Super Mario Brothers movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, that concludes my review of the Super Mario Brothers movie. So for right now, it's time for me to hit the road. That's gonna be it for today's video. Did you like it? If you did, give me a solid and punch the like button below like a piece of dough. And if this is your first time on this channel, and you like what you saw and will not come back for more, hit that subscribe button to so become a member of the Pizza Mind Mario Party today. Share it with your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, whoever you want to share with. Hit that bell to notifications to be the first one to see all kind of videos. Have a better time, leave a comment. Until next time, this is your boy Mike signing out. So, peace out, y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your day.